In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to make your own custom UGC avatar faces. And by watching and following this guide, you might be able to make yourself a decent amount of Robux. Now, obviously, not all of you guys watching this video have UGC access. Probably very little of you do. So selling your custom UGC face as an accessory is not really an option. However, you could potentially sell your UGC to a star creator or someone that needs one for a game. I see star creators all the time on Twitter are looking for items to buy and a lot of them don't have any experience or time to make their own items so selling to them is always a good idea. I also just want to say this video is going to be a complete beginner's guide so even if you have no model creating experience whatsoever hopefully you can take something away from this video. We are going to be using two applications in this video they are both free the first one is Blender for obviously making the models and meshes and we also do need paint.net for making the textures so yeah let's get started. If you guys don't have Blender yet, go and download it. The current version is 3.4.1. I'll leave a link to this down below in the video's description. If you're on Windows, all you want to do is click on download Blender. If you're on something else, you can change version here. I'm just going to click on download. And as you guys can see, if I just give it a second, it is going to start downloading. Now I've already got this, so I'm just going to cancel this straight away. But yeah, that's how you get Blender. Obviously, once it downloads, you just want to go through the setup. And like I said, guys, we will also need paint.net. Now, paint.net is basically a free version of photoshop but honestly it's very very good you guys want to go over to download you want to scroll down if you just go to this option here download now and just click on that then you can see it's up here paint.net version 5.0.2 if you go and click on this it is going to automatically download in about one second and again guys just go through the setup and make sure you have paint.net installed so next you want to go over to the avatar shop and you want to decide what kind of avatar face do you want to make do you want to make a man face, the basic one, or a woman face? Honestly, you can pretty much create anything. These are very, very popular at the moment. There's people literally uploading all types of stuff. Also, Roblox doesn't seem to mind us, like, downloading the original head and customizing it. So that's why this is probably, like, the easiest UGC item to actually recreate. Now, I just want to give you guys a quick warning. Quite a lot of these heads are not really allowed to be recreated. So stuff like Hex or Fat Head, we're not really supposed to be recreating these. However, the classic ones though, Roblox seem to allow those. So if you want the man head, that's fine. I'll link it down below. The woman head is also another very popular head that people like to recreate. Or you could also customize the classic block head. Now for my custom face, guys, I'm going to be using this, the Roblox classic head. Now this is kind of hard to find. So I'm going to link it down below in the video's description. I think a couple of years ago, Roblox was giving this to people on their accounts for free. I don't really know why. All it is, is like the Roblox default head you can see when I've got it selected on my avatar yeah nothing changes that's all it is it's just like a placeholder for the classic Roblox head quite a few UGC creators use this so we are going to be using the mesh so we are going to be using the better Roblox plugin to download the meshes and textures for making our custom UGC face if you guys don't have this plugin installed again I'll link it down below it's incredibly useful so back onto the classic head guys what we're going to do is we're going to click on the explorer icon then it's going to bring us to the explorer page we need to click on the head we need to go and click on mesh id and it's going to give us a little go to asset option now once you click on that guys it's going to load in the roblox render mesh and yes this is for the classic head this is what we need so we need to click on the download icon and we need an obj don't get the mesh get the dot obj file so we're going to click on that and as you guys can see here it's going to download it for us now we will rename it in a second next up guys we also need to download a mesh of a roblox avatar dummy now the reason why we need these is because we need to kind of base our head off this dummy you know just to get it the right size all of that kind of stuff so it works with normal roblox characters this was uploaded on my shark blocks account but it's a very sort of you know generic roblox thing so what we're going to do again we're going to download it and again guys we want to download this as a .obj file and last of all guys you need a face texture which i prepared for you guys so i've put this on my james 5 account all you want to do is just click on the download icon and it is going to download a png there you go that is perfect so before we move on make sure you have paint.net and blender successfully installed on your computer and also make sure you have your face you have the head and you also have the dummy now i'm just going to rename mine quickly so let me just type in dummy avatar i just want to like you know rename them so i don't get confused then the head okay that's fine maybe i'll just call this like classic head there you go that's looking good and then obviously we've got the face 2d face yeah that's fine there you go we've got our three files now it's time to open 
open up Blender. So yeah, guys, let's go and open this thing. So here we are. We are now inside of the latest version of Blender. We can actually just click to remove this message. And as you guys can see, we have got a cube. Now, I don't want this cube, so I'm going to press delete on my keyboard and we're going to get rid of it. So to get started, we need to go up to file. We need to go on import. Then we're going to choose OBJ. We need to open our dummy. So mine was dummy avatar. Yeah, that's what I named it. So let's go and import this. There you go. We've got a Roblox looking character inside of Blender. That looks good to me. So now we're going to import our head as well. So I'm just going to go on file. I'm going to go on import again, OBJ and our classic head. Yeah, we need to open this thing. So let's just open it. And there we are. We've got something which is looking like this. It's a bit strange, but yeah, we're going to work with it. So let's click on the drag tool. We're just going to move our sort of head up here. Now, as you guys can see, it's clipping a bit. Now, how these people actually make these sort of custom UGC faces is they make the heads a tiny bit larger. So if we actually go on the scale tool and hold control, we should be able to make our head just a tiny bit bigger. So maybe I'll try the blue one. There you go. Yeah, I think that's fine. If you just hold control and just go up a little bit on the blue one, I think that's probably okay. Obviously, we need it a little bit bigger so it works with accessories, but we don't want to make it too much bigger. So let's just position that right. You don't have to get it perfect, to be honest. But there we go. I think that's looking quite good. Now it's time to make the texture. So let's click on our head mesh. Now we're going to go over to the right hand side. You want to click on this kind of like material properties logo. We're going to click on new like I just did. And what we're going to do is go down to base color. So you want to click on this dot. Then you want to click on this icon. Then you want to click on image texture. Now we're going to come back to this in a second. Let's go and open paint.net and let's start making our face. So yeah, go and find paint.net and let's go and start it. I really like paint.net. I literally use this for making my YouTube video thumbnails. It's honestly a really good free software. So as you can see, I've got my face open here. You guys want to do the same. If you just go to file and then open at the top here, then you just go and find your face. You can just click on open. It's just going to open like this. I've got like three of them open now, but whatever. So if you guys want to add in a new layer, you can basically just draw any face you want to. So if I just go on the paint tool, as you can see, I could do like a squiggle sort of face if I wanted to. I could literally do anything, maybe something like that. And then if I open up another layer, let's say if I wanted to have some like yellow sort of creepy avatar. There you go. I made a face in like 10 seconds. So if I wanted to use something like this on my Roblox avatar, that would be perfectly fine. But I kind of want something a little bit better, you know, a bit nicer quality. Now, luckily for me, guys, my girlfriend is very good at art. So she was able to draw me this. This is like a really cool looking fiery face of like an evil smile kind of thing. I really like it. So I'm going to be using this. I wish I could draw something like this myself. But as you guys can see by this thing, yeah, I'm not very good. So I'm going to be using this in today's video. I'm sure quite a few of you guys watching are very good at art. So maybe you can make something similar, but it's entirely up to you. The only thing I did on this actually was I copied my avatar's skin tone for the background. I'll show you how I did that. Yeah, because with these UGC faces, they're kind of tricky to set them up as like transparent. I went into head and body. I went into skin tone. And all I did was Windows key shift and S on my keyboard. And I just copied my avatar's skin tone. That's like literally it. Obviously, you can do this for any color you want to. And then basically just control V to paste it in. Um, let me show you guys this actually matches. If I just delete the edges here, you can see, yeah, it's exactly the same. It's identical. This is just like the skin tone I used. And yeah, just for proof, it's actually still there. So there you go. That's how you add in your own sort of skin tone. So I'm going to save this face. I'm just going to go on file and then save as at the top. And I'm just going to call this um, cool avatar face. There you go. Make sure it's a PNG. Just go and save it and you should be good to go. Let's just click on OK. All you guys have to do is get the face kind of similar scaling to the one I provided you and you should be fine. You can basically draw anything you want. So now back into Blender. If you're wondering how I'm moving around like this, by the way, I'm just holding the middle mouse button down like the scroll wheel, right? Let's go and open our avatar's face. So let's just click on the open option. Then again, you've got to find it. So mine was the cool avatar face. Let's go and open the image. Now, as you guys can see, you can't see it. Everything's looking a bit gray. That's because you have to change it at the top here. So if you click on this, I don't know what that's called. Oh, viewpoint shading. As you can see, that's looking pretty cool. I can adjust it a little bit, but so far, I think that's looking awesome. If you guys want to adjust it and your face is looking a bit dodgy, you want to go into UV editing. And if you scroll into your avatar, if you just press A on your keyboard to just select it, there you go, just A for all. Then if you just go and where's my little option gone? Oh, it's over here. What the hell? Okay, there you go. You just have to like scroll a bit on this bit. Then if I was to like move these or sort of change them a bit, I'd be 
be able to scale this a bit better. Honestly, I think that's quite good. So as you can see, if I press A on this bit, I could like move it, you know, make the face smaller. You could do that, make it really wide. You could pretty much do whatever you want. I think that might be good. Wait, let me just put it back to how it was. Um, That was it. There you go. Yeah, I can't tell. Actually, I might just, you know, make it a bit larger. Hang on. Let me just go and get the scaling tool. This one, if I hold control and just make sure it goes out both sides, is that right? Just do it a little bit, maybe like that. Then I just need to bring it over a tiny bit. I'm just trying to like line it up with these pieces as well, just to make sure it's center. I might just adjust the mouth just a tiny bit, maybe bring it up there. I think that's looking quite nice. I kind of want to test it in Roblox though and see how it really looks. If you go to layout, you should be able to see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that's quite decent. I might save this and just see what it looks like in studio. Yeah, I think that's looking decent, right? So I'm going to click on the dummy. We've already used this. We don't need it. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. Now I can save the mesh and also the texture to Roblox. So for the mesh, what I'm going to do is just make sure I've got it selected. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to export. We are going to export this as an OBJ. Just make sure you name it something. New avatar head um, upload version, maybe something like that. Let me just fix the spelling and let me just go and export this to my downloads folder. So we're going to make sure we've got a copy of like the new version and also the texture as well. If we just go to UV editing or maybe actually yeah, texture paint, go to texture paint. If you just make sure you've got your face selected, you should be able to save this. If you just go on image here, then just go on save as. Cool avatar face. So I'm just going to, I don't know, maybe add like numbers after it. Like, I don't know, V2. There you go, version two. We're also going to save our image. And there you go. That should be fine. I think we can actually open this in Roblox Studio, guys. Also save your Blender project if you want to. I just called it Untitled 2, just for an example. So now it's time to open Roblox Studio and it's time to import our stuff. So let's double click this thing and let's open it. I guess while you're waiting for Roblox Studio to open, we can upload our assets. So let's go up to the Create tab. Then if you go on Dashboard, we should be able to upload our own accessories. Yeah, if I go on Development Items, then if I go on Decals or maybe Images, I should be able to upload the face. Yeah, let's go and click on Upload Asset. Then again, click on Upload. Find it in your Downloads folder. As you can see, they are slightly different because I did edit one in Blender. We're going to go with version 2. So we're going to click on Open. Cool Avatar Face V2. That's fine. I'm going to click on Upload. And now we have uploaded our face. You should be able to find it down here. We can click on um, Open Asset Details. And there you go. And then on this page, if you have the Better Roblox plugin, you want to click on this icon, like the picture icon. And it's going to bring you to the image on the Roblox website. And the top of the page, it does have an ID. So I guess we can copy this now. Why not? In Studio, guys, it's done loading. Let's just go with like a base plate. Yeah, I think that should be fine. We also need a couple of plugins. So I guess I can show you guys. We're just going to dismiss that message. I don't think we need that. So yeah, the plugins I use, guys, are the load character plugins. I use the asset creator plugin. That's like one of the vital ones. And also the UGC thumbnail tool. Let me show you where I got them. This one is made by Stickmaster Luke. This one is free and I've already installed it. I'll link it down below. And so this is the load character plugin. This is the free version by Already Pro. If you guys want this, I'll also link it down below. So yeah, let's get started. We're going to right click. We're going to do insert object. We are going to type in mesh because we need a mesh part. So let's go and put this in. There you go. That's perfect. Now we're going to go on view. We're going to go to properties. And what we need to do guys is go and find our mesh ID. So we're going to click on this little folder icon. And yep, you guys guessed it. We need our new avatar head, the updated version. So let's go and open this. We are going to do no because I don't think that matters. Then we're going to wait for it to load. And there you go. We've got our little avatar head. That's looking pretty good. Now we've got to add our face. So if we just click on this, if we just go on view and properties again, we're going to scroll up and we're going to go to texture ID, which is right there. And of course here guys, we need to paste in that ID from our custom Roblox face. Yeah. So it was the image of our cool avatar face. We just need to copy the whole address. I think before I copy the ID, we're just going to copy everything here. So just right click and copy. Then we're going to paste this in. So control V on your keyboard, press enter, and it should load it in for you. So let's see, is it looking decent? There we go. That's looking good. Looking a bit more high up than I expected, but whatever, I guess. Not too bad. We've got to try this thing on a Roblox character. So that's why we need the plugin, which is the character loader. So we're going to click on this. I'm going to spawn in. Hmm, who should I spawn in? Maybe shark blocks, because I want to customize it to fit my avatar. So I'm just going to go on R6. You can choose R15 if you want to. Doesn't really matter. So we're just going to position our avatar basically where it spawned in. Just go and put it somewhere. 
then the head we're just going to match the head onto my character so let me just go and rotate it a bit actually i'm going to hold shift for that just to get it right there you go bang on perfect then i'm just going to try and drag it onto my avatar i might actually remove some accessories just so it makes it a bit easier so if i just go into the explorer let's see what should i remove so maybe the beanie i don't really need that the hair i can remove the back accessory okay that's looking a bit easier now so now i've just got to position this onto my avatar basically just position it over the old head so sometimes doing this can be a bit tricky but you know you just want to get it about right i guess you can always scale it in here that should be fine you can scale it down if you want to to try and make it fit a bit better you could always scale it up just to make sure it's in the right place as long as it covers your old avatar head you should be fine so i like that i think that's looking fine Okay guys, I'm back and I spent quite a bit of time trying to position this mesh part correctly on my avatar But I think I've finally done it if I just show you guys if I just go behind you can see Yeah, it fits in nicely with my mask I kind of wanted it to work with my mask and other accessories as well So that's why I spawned in a shark Blocks character and I think I got it perfect Look at this I've been trying to get it perfect like so many times on all of these different characters I did have this problem where it kept on glitching up, you know, it just sort of like went a bit weird But I think I've finally done it guys that is looking perfect one thing you can do if you're struggling with the positioning if you go to view then go to properties then click on your character if you go to the origin position and just copy this then go into the mesh and go and paste it in so where was it origin position so that'd be here if i go and paste that in and press enter it should actually fix it to your avatar if it puts it lower down in the torso you can always move it using the move tool but yeah as you guys can see i think that's perfect so i think we're ready to turn the mesh into an accessory so we're going to go to plugins guys we're going to go to the asset creator plugin we're going to click on accessory and next we're then going to click on our mesh then we're going to click on next then we're going to click on our roblox character so this guy i called him new so that's the character that this accessory is aligned to we're going to go on next again then you want to choose you can either choose face or hat i'm going to choose hat because i think it's going to work better for this so i'm just going to do next then we need to choose classic for character type and next again now next and it should be done it's going to spawn in your accessory 10 studs above your character so as you can see here it is this one is called what is it called it's one of these it's this one mesh part accessory you can actually rename this uh evil face or something evil face yeah there you go now if we drag and drop this onto our character so new it should fit in perfectly and i think if i move this guy there you go look at that that's bang on perfect it's literally working as an accessory now if i just do Control z just to sort of get it back there you go my evil face what we're gonna do guys is now select the accessory in the explorer and we are going to upload this onto the roblox avatar shop just one very quick thing before we upload it now to be honest this is optional but you can use the ugc custom thumbnail tool to make this thing look very nice before you upload it onto the website now obviously this only really applies to ugc creators if you're making an accessory for somebody else you don't really need to worry about this if you were making your item for a star creator you could literally just save it as a model and then give it to them or something but seeing as i'm about to upload mine i'm going to use the thumbnail tool so i'm just going to hide my trash mask because i don't want that to get in the way i'm going to close out of this i'm going to go to plugins i'm going to find my ugc thumbnail tool so i'm going to make sure i've got evil face selected then go on the tool i'm just going to align it maybe something like that that looks kind of stupid but whatever you can move back and forth if you want to it's entirely up to you so how did i have it something like that yeah all right that's fine i'm just going to go and accept that and there you go it's now ready to be uploaded now unfortunately guys i'm not allowed to show this part of the video if you are a member of the ugc program then you can go ahead and just simply upload it i can't exactly show everyone that isn't because i'm pretty sure that's not allowed i don't want roblox to get angry at me yeah i'm like 99 sure i can't show the method of how you add it onto the website so yeah i'm gonna wait for roblox to approve my item and then we can go and check it out once it's finally uploaded while we are waiting for it to be uploaded i guess i can show you guys just a little bit of troubleshooting if you're having problems inside of studio and your accessory is just not aligning to your avatar correctly one thing you can do is like position it just a little bit better on the avatar inside of blender this is definitely something i'd recommend trying so you can see here my head mesh is very nicely aligned to this avatar like it's almost perfectly aligned right so yeah this is definitely something you can try also i just want to say on the uv editing part make sure like this grid sort of outline is contained in the square make sure your face is inside of this if it overlaps 
the square a bit, sometimes the textures can glitch out, so yeah, you don't want that to happen. So guys, here we are on the Roblox website, and as you can see, I've called it the Evil Grin Fire Face. I uploaded it as a hat accessory, I added in a custom description, and yeah, that's everything. This is the thumbnail it came up with, so kind of funny, but it looks all right. Now it's just time to test it on my avatar. So as you can see, I really like that. I think that came out really, really cool. I also just want to try it on like a noob avatar just to make sure I can't see any of the yellow noob head underneath. And so far, guys, if I just zoom into the torso, maybe that is looking pretty good. There you go. Yeah, that's spot on. That's actually perfect. So I guess maybe we can try it inside of a game. Oh, I might as well sell it as well. So there we are. I updated it. I'm going to sell this thing for 66 Robux. It also has a premium discount. So if you guys have the premium membership and you wish to purchase it, you can get some money off. I'm going to buy this on my James 5 account because I do want to use it in here. So let's go and purchase it. And I actually want to replace my Lil Nas X face with this one because I don't really like his music, to be honest. I know I was wearing his item for a long time, but I don't really like the rapper that much. So there you go. That's the new version. I'm probably going to make other variants, but yeah, I guess it's kind of cool. And there you go. This is what it looks like inside of a Roblox game. So honestly, guys, I think that's basically it. That's how you make your own custom UGC face. It's pretty easy to set up. If you guys have any problems, let me know over on Twitter. Also, if you plan on selling your UGC item, maybe make a Twitter account and contact some star members. Who knows? Some of them might want to buy it. They might give you a thousand Robux, maybe even more. If you found this video interesting or helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.